let's have a look at this resume and let's start with something obvious, the font size. So I do love the font selection, it's easy to, to scan through, but in terms of the size I would probably not go below 10. It is still just one unit, but I would probably still keep it between 10 and 11. What I do really like about this one is that it's uh, following my <laughs> my perfect world structure. One bullet point, one line, and so on and so forth, except this one. I mean, I don't know what happened here, like, you know, everything was coming, it was going working and was following a simple structure and suddenly something happened here but other than that if this person can break it up into bullet points that would do the job as well so something uh, that I have noticed is that here there are some additional spaces and they should not be there and summary is not about is never about you in this case <laughs> This person obviously does not understand this, and this is the chief of staff, like, whoa. Anyway, uh, the summary is never about you, it's about the value that you can bring to the table. So instead of, I'm interested to attain a responsible position within the business development team where I will be able to execute a knowledge and great. Okay, this is just too boring. It's just probably just get rid of it. Uh, what else? Um, in terms of the years, so I love playing with the alignment and just and justify options, I would absolutely take the date and put it somewhere here. Um, but that's just me. So what else? Let's have a quick a look at the actual bullet points. So again, here's an additional empty space, I'm sure what happened here. So let's just read through a couple of bullet points manage campaign budget and fund blah 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 manage the entire composed cold calls generated sales report <laughs> yeah so it's more about achievements and what you have for example manage campaign budget like how big was the budget um i don't know let's for example this one so updated the kpa data of the company and weekly reporting like first of all it doesn't really just make much sense but think about the big picture like why would i hire you if everyone can create customer report presentations like how many did you create like what like oh, you know just something really proud about you can brag about uh what else so community engagement is actually pretty cool it's just that it should follow the same structure you know make sure it's clear and concise skills so i would assume that this person is editing all the documents in word and why would you ignore word suggestion you know like salesforce this is how the brand is written like follow the brand <laughs> like what happened so salesforce and hubspot i'm sure that the s should be capital yep it is capital letter s there we go um computer skills advanced skills so ms office so this is just weird, like, again, never put MS Office, um, never include any beginner skills and beginner in Instagram and Facebook ads, like, you know, you know, no one wants a beginner, I mean, unless it's a very junior position, and again, this person probably applied for a more senior position. So never include any beginner skills and advance in English, like, you know, just, just say English, and it doesn't really matter, because maybe it's advanced for you, maybe it's really beginner for me, or maybe it's really an expert for me, so you know, you never know how the other person will um you know evaluate your, your level your knowledge um so that's why i always hate when people include the actual like um advanced beginner expert intermediate and so on and so forth but um other than that it is a one pager i mean it's easy to scan through you know if you can just fix uh, everything that we just talked about let's have a look at another one so this is also one pager, um, and I hate that this one because the first and last name was like you know maybe like font size twenty or twenty five or thirty or something like that. Like, um, yeah. So what else? Oh, um, by the way, uh, I don't know why people keep on including remote. Like, <clears throat> no one really cares if you work remote or in office. So yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. Have your bird, snake, neighbor, 
whatever you have at home and double and triple check your resume. Why? Because even Word highlights some of the issues. So here it should be probably efficiency or SNC or whatever, but not e ECNC. And this is, you know, just, just double check your resume. And why are here two dots? I'm sure that Microsoft Office will tell me it should be one dot. It is, it is. Um, there you go. And what about physical, physical location? Yeah, so again, just double, triple check your resume before you do and you go out and use it. Uh, let's see, software. <sighs> Microsoft Excel, Slack, Teams, and but I don't know why people, you know, first of all, like Slack and Teams are two totally different companies. Like, you know, why would you combine them? Like, I know they're messaging apps and stuff like that, but whatever. So, you know, this is basic. This is basic, uh, you know, just get rid of those by default skills that everyone, like they want to make you stand out. Okay, what else? So let's see, I see some numbers. Supervised up to 50 beauty agents, that's okay. Manage the development of 10 beauty agents, okay. Uh, across two physical locations, including 70 plus. Okay, so we see some clear numbers, maybe not quite achievements, but numbers. So that's, that's good, that's good. Uh, it could be better, again, it's a one pager and I would probably just not have, you know, it split up into two columns. Not sure why this happened. If it would be one column, it would be much more easier and it would be probably much more easier and faster to read through. But anyway, let's look at the last one for today. Oh my God. Uh, so that's probably too big. I mean, it is, you see it's 14 and this was like 30 or 40. This is just like, oh, too huge, too huge. And there is no consistency. You will see it in a second. So, Career objective, again, business, graduate, taking position, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, never make it about you, make it about the company. And there are a lot of uh, material about how to do that. Uh, even if you don't know exactly the company that you'll be working uh, with or for, you can absolutely do much better than this generic bot like career objective and like no one likes career objectives like we all know you want more money you want to grow and stuff like that but what will you do what's the value you bring to the table in order to achieve that uh let's see what else so employment history and so first of all like never include the actual legal entity structure like llc i mean if if, even if it's on linkedin like that you know like i don't know uh alex technical recruiter llc like don't include the actual entity uh, into the name. That's just weird. Um, and here also something weird happened. Like you see data is kind of slightly to the right. I would actually include it in the, like here on the right uh, to, to, to use, to take, uh, you know, to use all the, uh, the, the white spaces in a much more clever way. So we see uh, font size is 14, but obviously uh, here it's, well, first of all, this is Times New Roman and this is Cam Cambria, whatever that's called, and it's 10. So uh, consistency is king, and this should be, I mean, this should be uh, like in the manual for a recruiter. <sighs> what else? Um, in this role, I focused mainly, yeah, this is not a story. Like a resume is not a story. It's about like, I did this, I achieved that, I rebranded, I implemented, I, I'm i proud about this, this, this. So it's not a novel. Don't write a book and just be like, go straight to the point. And please, please, please make sure it's clear and concise. So again, uh, font size, font type, and stuff like that. What else? Oh, what happened here? And now we're back to 16. So it's, it's not even 14. Now it's 16. OMG. So exceptional interpersonal written. Well, maybe not anymore. And oral communication skills, social media, payroll function. Like, yeah, this is just a lot of, a lot of, you know, water under the bridge that no one cares about, like fluency in Microsoft Office, Word, Excel. So first of all, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint are Microsoft Office. So you're repeating yourself within the same sentence. Never do that again. What else? Um, if you're not fluent in Microsoft Office, you probably should not apply to a job in the first place. So again, those by default knowledge, skills, out of college, out of, due to the past experiences, like forget about that at all. Um, and always follow or try to follow or at least see what does Word, like if you're fluent in Microsoft Office Word, 
make sure you actually listen to its suggestions. For example, why does it underline orientation? Well, that is because there's an additional white space. Oh, I'm right, I'm so good at this. Um, why does it un underline SharePoint? Well, that's because SharePoint is written in a different manner, like share and a capital letter P. Oh, and there's a summary, oh my God. Yeah, so this probably just, I mean, I get it that this is a business graduate, so he, he or she doesn't really know how it works and I get that. Um, my, my resumes from like 10 or 15 years ago were just horrible, but um, this is why there are people like myself that are willing to help. Uh, let's see. So summary, I enjoy work. Yeah, I got, again, it's like, if it's about you, you will not get hired. Make it about the company. Make it about how many, f you know, what was the budget you managed? What were the projects you work on? What was the, cook? I don't know, how many clients did you talk to and stuff like that. So it's about numbers, achievements, something that can be calculated, counted, uh, and something that catches your, you know, your hiring manager, my attention. Uh, and the references, yeah, never include any references unless you're being asked for. Um, sometimes you will be asked for references, sometimes not. But again, even if you don't include them, <laughs> I'm sure that uh, if it's part of the process, you'll be asked for those anyway. So um, in this case, it's really someone super junior. And again, someone super junior should not have two pages to start with. And there are some weird spaces, like weird white spaces to begin with. Um, so I would love to help this person. So if you're watching this video, um, make sure to shoot me an email at alex at bluebeam.es and I will jump on a quick phone call, video, zoom, whatever the case might be and help you stand out. Thank you.